Welcome to Music Creation, where I discuss the creative and technical side of, well, making music. Starting off, I had to think of a concept and mood for the song. I ended up on settling on an unhealthy relationship with an aggressive vibe towards it. Then I wanted to make the beat before the lyrics so that way the lyrics fit. I was messing around with different instruments on Soundtrap and I found a pop guitar with a nice delay. I matched the delay with my BPM of 137 to make it sound like it was hitting every note. The next instrument I put in was the percussion. I wanted it to fade in as the percussion was going to match the rhythm of my voice so it would thematically match. I knew I wanted one more instrument to finalize the sound so I used a jazz guitar. On it, when I hit notes in quick succession, it made a nice hum which is what I was going for. Moving on, I had to write the lyrics so I decided to create a story that matched the theme. The story was about a bad couple where the girl uses the sympathy card way too much and emotionally manipulates the guy constantly. He eventually realizes this and calls her out on it leading to the song. After like three hours of writing the lyrics, I finally started recording the actual song. I sang the song in three different octaves, one high, medium, and low, where the highest one was the main priority of the voice. I also sang the song twice per octave to add depth when needed. By the end, I liked what I heard but I wasn't satisfied with the quality. I began audio repairing my voice by dragging the sound clips into Premiere Pro without any effects added on them. I then balanced the average volume and cleaned it up, which revealed several mistakes I made while singing. So, I re-sang everything with an emphasis on my tone and my aggressiveness just to match the cadence of the song. Once again, I put the audio back in Premiere, audio balanced, and cleaned everything up. This time it was a lot better, but still not perfect. However, I understood that if I kept on trying to strive for perfection, I would just result in exponentially less progress every single time. Essentially, you need to know when your work is appropriate to be done. I balanced all the vocal audio to an average of negative 5 decibels, then I imported the music and averaged that to negative 3. Then I put everything back into Soundtrap and added the filters I wanted, like a pop filter on my high notes to let it sustain more. After a bit more of putting it back in Premiere and fixing it, it was done. Now all I needed was cover art or a thumbnail for the song. I've never made cover art before, so all I really knew is that it needs to match the theme of the song. However, I wasn't quite sure about the imagery and symbolism that would represent the song, so I went to my good old friend, ChatGPT. After feeding it enough information about the song, it recommended cracks like shattered glass, locks, and fading colors. Even still, I didn't have a clear picture of what I wanted, so I just opened up Premiere and just started putting pictures in. For starters, I put in a heart-shaped lock. Pretty direct symbolism, I know. Then I added a glass cracking effect over the top and some water droplets in the back. While it looked decent, I knew it could still look better, so I added color strokes and overlaid it on every image, eventually settling on leaving it on the lock. I then wrote the title, rasterized it, and then smudged it to make it look worn. Then I also added the color effect onto that as well. Then I duplicated that and then blurred it to add a glow effect, which I then put around the entire image. What it did was make it look like the bright colors were fading and being smudged into the dark colors, which matched the theme. I'm proud of how the cover art turned out. Even though it is a bit corny, it matches the theme of the song, which is the most important part, and shying away from that only neglects those who like it. Well, that's it. The song was plenty fun to record, and it taught me plenty of things that I plan on using later. If you want to hear the song, just check the description and it should be linked. Thank you for watching. I'm Brandon Alcaraz from Tiger Media.